Hey guys, this is Gary, at least telling your sales guy. Hey, today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a cool, cool subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What's our great subject for today? Let me give you a little fist bump and say howdy first. Our topic for today is selling. How to keep selling simple. What do you think? I said selling. How to keep selling simple. You know, it may sound a little crazy. You might be, well, I always keep it simple. You know what? I've been in sales since the dinosaur days. Back in the 80s, baby. And I'm going to tell you what. I have complicated some of my selling. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I get off task and I go in a different direction. Have you ever done that? I bet you have, because see, selling sometimes, if we're not on our game, we can just go on our own way. We do the crazy things. We don't keep it simple. We keep it confusing. Duh. <laughs> you heard that expression, keep it simple, stupid. But I don't say that. I say keep it simple, smart person. And the reason why you want to keep your presentation simple and practice them, of course, is because if you make them really complicated... You can lose the customer. They'll get this glazed eye and they'll say, I'm not interested because what you've done is you made it too complicated. You didn't make it simple for the customer and they couldn't perceive a value in what you were trying to sell. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. The sales guy, I tell you, I'll tell you the good, the bad, the ugly and the warts and all. And see, a lot of times we don't talk about stuff like this. Sometimes when you're out there selling, you may get off target but you got to remember you have to research you got to rehearse your presentation the reason why you want to rehearse your presentation as many times as you possibly can is because it becomes habit it becomes simple it becomes easy and if somebody tries to take you off your game because they ask you a question that's an objection you're not familiar with when you've been practicing for a long time it becomes very simple you go okay well i'll get to that and we'll have a conversation about that because see sometimes customers will take you off your game the reason why is customers don't want to be sold nothing they don't want nobody to try to sell them something and our simple job is to help them get it i didn't say sell them anything but help them get it you know selling our topic for today is selling how to keep selling simple well here's the first thing you got to start at the beginning you want to talk about your your product you want to talk about the benefits the customers are going to perceive as being valuable not what you think is invaluable i do my research i talk to my friends and family and people i know and i tell them about my product and i ask them the question why would you want to buy this i didn't say i was trying to sell them and it's funny sometimes with some of my friends and family and stuff they bought from me because they asked themselves the question why would I buy that? Uh, you ever done that? You ever bought something and you talked to yourself and you looked at it and you rubbed your hands together, you rubbed your face and you thought, damn, that looks pretty good. Well, customers feel the same way. So we got to keep it very simple when we're talking to them. Don't talk above their head. Don't talk with such language that's really complicated. Now, you know, you got sophisticated customers out there. You got sophisticated business people. But a lot of the people that I talk to are just like regular old Joes. They just want to own something. They just don't want to be sold nothing. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, and our topic for today is selling, how to keep our selling simple. Listen, you walk up to a door, you knock on the door, you pick up the heavy phone, you say, hello, hi, my name is, and whatever your name is, you introduce yourself. You tell them, hey, I'm with XYZ Company, and we're in the area today. You know, I know that you folks were probably interested in getting something, you know, but let me give you some demonstrations, some information. See, I know it. See, what I'm doing is I'm making it sound simple because it really is. You know, I used to work in retail. I worked in retail for a long time. I helped people get a whole lot of nice stuff. And I'm going to tell you what, I always kept it simple. I had this rule. I only give them about between three and five features and benefits. Now, the reason why is because if you give them much more than that, sometimes it can overwhelm the customer. Let's just say, for instance, we're looking at a washer. You got a washer in front of you. They look like every other freaking washer in the whole world. But see, if you tell the customer, well, this has an agitator inside of it, they may already know that. But if you didn't bring it to their attention, 
Damn, they don't know. So you have to bring out things. You got to talk to the customers because you can't expect the customer to know what's in your product and what makes it different for them to want to buy from you. So, you know, it's got a little agitator. So at the bottom down here, it makes sure that the water and every all the clothes get circulated all through the system. And if you notice, it's got a big tub. Put your hand in there. See how deep it is. Whoa, that's a lot of room in there. There you go. There's number two. And if you'll notice the sleek buttons, see how they're all masterful made so it's easy for you to use. There you go, number three. And let me tell you something. It comes with a manufacturer's 90-day or one-year warranty. Oh, and the benefit that we have is when you get this, that we can cover it up to five years. So if you ever have any problems, you won't have no problems with us. We'll take care of it. If we can't repair it, we'll replace it. Number four. Number five is, hey, listen, you you know, I know you're looking. I know you folks were thinking about buying something. Uh, were y'all planning on paying cash? Keep your mouth shut. And they'll say, no, well, you know, well, I know most, a lot of my customers like to use their credit cards, but hey, listen, have you thought about maybe using our money for a little while? And in that regard, you could pay it off. There is no prepaid penalty. That's your number five. I've given them five benefits. They were very simple. Now you can do more. You can delve, because see, a lot of different products have some features and benefits. You want to talk about, you know, maybe that, hey, listen, the sleek design will fit in your decor, the color scheme. It's just a lot of little little things that you can use. But remember, our topic for today is selling. How to keep selling simple, not complicated. If you're talking to a customer and you're wanting them to perceive value, remember, you got to make, you got to watch their eyes. Okay. You got to watch the signs. If they're doing stuff like this, if they're rubbing their hands together, they're trying to figure out in their mind's eye, how can I buy this? Now, if they start putting their arms in front of each other and stuff like that, you've made it a little complicated. They may think, well, maybe I'm not really interested in this, but here's the thing. Get back on track. Watch the buying signals. Watch them. They'll ask questions. Well, when can I get this delivered? Uh, how, uh, well, if I get this, when can I get it set up? Uh, well, how much does this cost? How much does that cost? What can I get with it? Does it come with... Did you hear what I said? Selling. How to keep selling simple. You bring up the benefits you, as far as the features are concerned now. And then give them some benefits. And you're always closing. People say, always closing? Yeah, you're always asking, don't you think this will look good in your house? Wouldn't you think that your family would appreciate something like this? Hey, in that room where you're planning on putting it, who's going to be using your product? See, what you're doing is you're giving little closes. You're giving little sales. You're putting the customer into the buying environment. They're seeing with their own eyes the capability of using your product. Hey, you know, this service that we're going to give you, you're going to be able to come out here at least after 90 days on your car. You can get the oil changes every 90 days. Every six months, you can come out and get the basic maintenance and service. Can you see the value? It'll last you a long, long time. Recre see, what we're doing is we're cre creating big scenarios where they're satisfied with what you're trying to sell. Now, it's not always easy because I've been in sales a long time. I've been around. I've been around for a while. And I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the warts and all. And sometimes customers can be difficult. Now, remember, see, there are some people that are buyers and there are some people who really aren't. So you have to ask good questions to find out if these people have the means and the where to invest. If you got something that you can sell that's of a high value, you always want to ask you. I know you folks were thinking about investing in something like this where y'all going to pay cash. And a lot of times you'll watch their face. Well, you know, and, or sometimes they'll come up to you and say, yeah, you know, I want to, uh, you know, we're, we're thinking about, you know, getting something, but, you know, we're going to pay cash. Okay, well, that's fine. But if you watch a lot of people when you're selling stuff to them, if you talk to them, you'll ask questions like, you know, were you planning on paying cash? And they'll go, um, well, you know, well, you know, hey, listen, a lot of our customers, they'd love to be able to invest in stuff like this, but we like to make sure they're pre-qualified so they can get the best opportunity to buy what they want to buy. It only takes a couple of minutes. We can find out what we can do for you. So that way you can make an informed decision 
and see if it's going to help you to be able to get what you want. And they'll go, well, you know, and I'm always dropping hints of financing, guys. I'm always dropping hints of ways for them to save money. I'm also dropping hints about, hey, you know, we've got these in stock right now. We can have these delivered out within the next four to six weeks. You know, you don't got to say right now because if you say right now, oh, I don't need it right now because they always want it right now, especially if they come out in your store and they're looking to buy something. You just got to remember, selling, how to keep it simple. Not stupid, it's smart person. You got to fill your customers out. Like I said, if here's another thing. Keeping it simple also means if you can't close to sell, get somebody in there to help you. Especially if you are in a place where you've got other salespeople and management who can walk the customer through the process. I've had situations, we call it a team, a T-O, a T. A, a team opportunity. What that does for you as a salesperson, it gives you the capability to have somebody step in your shoes. And it's so funny. What will happen is, is the customer will maybe put up a brick wall and you're not able to get through it. But see, you ask this, hey, this is John. He's my manager of this department. Uh, John, what do you think about this particular feature? And he'll start saying, well, you know, this particular feature and benefit and feature. You've already went through the whole thing with them already all he's doing is coming or she's coming behind you and saying basically the same thing but keep your mouth shut don't be upset because sometimes they may get a little bit of your money don't be upset about that it's better to get some money than no money at all and let them close the sale sometimes they won't let necessarily close the sale they'll actually actually offer the same advice and information but if you got a good manager that'll come behind you, he'll close the cell for you and you can write it up. See, but you have to do the work. You have to do the do. And you have to train. You have to listen. You have to learn. Because, see, it's going to be your turn next. See, here's the key to success. We are always our brothers and sisters keepers. We're always trying to help each other. And that's what we do. Our topic for today is selling. How to keep it simple. See, here's the key to success, guys. You want to make sure that your presentation's not necessarily flawless, but you're able to be able to, if somebody throws and peppers questions at you and stuff, that you've practiced so much that you'll be able to go, oh, I got that one. <laughs> I know about that one. And remember this, guys. Sometimes you're going to not sell anything. It happens. It's a numbers game. And then there'll be other times you'll sell everything. I'll be like, dang, I can't stop selling. I don't know what's so great about me. And then you come to find out some days you ain't going to sell nothing. Maybe it's a day or two or a week. But you got to remember, never quit because quitters never win. I guess that's what they say. But to me, sometimes I have to show up. I have to do the do. And the more people that you give your presentation to, either over the phone, in person, or however you sell, it makes it easier. Easier. And remember, we want it. Our topic for today is selling how to keep selling simple. We don't complicate things, guys. If somebody's coming into your showroom, one of the first things you got to make sure your teeth is clean, your breath is smelling good, your hair is combed, you don't look disheveled, you don't look like you're, you're just got out of a wet paper bag or you smell like pot or you smell like cigarettes or, or vaping. Let me tell you why. Because people, unfortunately, they prejudge us. And if you see a customer doing like this, that means you don't smell something, don't smell right. They ain't going to say nothing to you. They'll just say, well, I'm not really interested. I'm not really interested. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you some stuff that nobody talks about when they talk about selling. But I do because I've been there and I've done that. And I've had a lot of those good checks from selling and having opportunities because remember keep it simple smart person not stupid selling how to keep it simple you got to show up every day the more practice that you get the more repetitive your sales opportunities become, the easier it gets. I didn't say it was going to be easy every time because sometimes it can be hard to sell something. Sometimes it's hard to pick up that heavy phone because, see, we get a little bit of the sphere, false evidence appearing real, which is not real, but we get a little scared. Even after a while, we've been selling for a while. We're like, dang, what happened to me, man? I felt like I was a little bit scared. That's okay. Remember, selling 
how to keep it simple and selling means you do the same things over and over and over. Now, you got to get your study game on, guys. You got to get your study on. You got to learn your craft. You got to learn about closes. You got to learn about techniques. I got a whole bunch of sales videos that would help you if you're interested. Give me a little thumbs up. Share this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And listen, if you're wanting to learn how to close more sales, keep it very simple. Ask for assistance. Get some mentors. Get some people that can walk you through the process. Write down stuff. You can't remember all this stuff, so get your little pad and pen and write down those things that'll make you successful. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy, and today we had a really good conversation about selling how to sell and keep it simple. It's really not complicated. So go out there and sell some. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. We just kept it pretty simple. So go out there and sell something and have a nice day. All right.